A place to live right now after a fire tore through their condo community last night. Yeah, among them, a mother and her four small children. As Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer tells us some people have also gone hours without power. One of those displaced families is a mother and her four children. She lived right here in this unit. You can't really tell from the outside right here, but the inside of her unit is totally destroyed. So I have four small children, which I don't know what I'm going to do. This video provided by Kiari Burton shows ceilings literally falling apart, showing how much damage the fire did. Burton is trying to figure out what's next for her family after a fire ripped through her building Sunday night. She was able to get her children and herself out in the nick of time. I, I just got them out the house. I tried to, I called people to come take them. I still have my two smaller boys because I don't have anywhere for them to go. The Cab Fire Rescue says the fire started around 930 on Sunday night in the kitchen of one of the units. Burton believes there may have been a terrible accident next door. A grease fire started in her kitchen, which led into my kitchen, which started a fire into my house as well as hers. The blaze displaced six families and left the building without power for hours. Debro King just moved into his unit two days ago. I'm all lost. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm all lost. We ain't even been here long enough. When he came home Sunday night, he immediately thought the worst when he saw the billowing smoke. I came, came to get something to eat out of the crib, and I just seen the whole apartment engulfed in smoke. And I, my first thing, I was trying to see my mom okay. But ultimately, he's grateful that he and his neighbors lived to tell the tale. I mean, you can replace a house, but you can't replace a person. The Cab Fire Rescue says the official cause of the fire, well, that is still under investigation. Meanwhile, the Red Cross is stepping in to help these displaced families. In Lithonia, Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.